Let G be a group. Prove that every subgroup of the center of G is normal in G. Proof. Before we start the proof, let me just like quickly recall what um, this is. What is the center of G? So the center of G, it's defined to be the set of all of the X's in G such that XG is equal to GX for all little g in capital G. In other words, the center is the set of all x's in G that commute with every element of G. And so what does normal mean in this case? Well, a subgroup H of G is said to be normal in G. We use this funny triangle. Uh, this is true if and only if for all little g in capital G and for all little h in capital H, we have GH, G inverse, also residing in capital H. So armed with this, uh, we will go ahead and complete the proof. So we have to show that every subgroup of the center is normal in G. So we'll start by taking a subgroup of the center. So suppose that H is a subgroup of the center of G. So the inequality sign actually means a uh, subgroup. So now we have to show that H is normal in G. So we'll start by, let's see, we have to take a G and G and an H and H. So take any little g in capital G and little h in capital H. And now we have to show that G H G inverse is in capital H. So then, let's just write it down and see what happens. G H G inverse. So we have to somehow show that this is in big H. Uh, but we know something. We know that little h is in capital H. But capital H is contained in the center of G. That means little h commutes with every element of G. In particular, it commutes with G inverse. So this is G G inverse H. And this step here is because H is in capital H, which is in the center of G. So H is actually in the center of G. So it commutes with every element of G. In particular, it commutes with this little guy here, G inverse. And then G, G inverse, that's the identity element. So we get EH. And E times H is just little h. And this is certainly in h. So we showed that for any little g in g and little h in h, that g h g inverse is actually also in h. And so this basically shows that h is normal in g. So this shows h is normal in g. So I hope that made sense. That's it.